Welcome to my channel and welcome to another coloring in Mythographic Paradise by Fabiana Atanasio. Sometimes my color choice, my choice for the next project to do, it's very chaotic and spontaneous. When I did a flip through of this book, I immediately was attracted to the page with sakura in bloom, couple of Japanese temples and couple of birds. I knew that I want to color them as Uguisu, Japanese beautifully singing bird, and it's one of the symbols of love in Japan, because traditionally it sings during spring period. I already was... Uh, I knew the story because I colored such bird in Menoe de Banner by Kanoka Yaguza, and I was attracted to the beautiful colors of the bird. So I decided that it can be my next project. But the other reason why I selected this particular page is because I wanted to play with my watercolors. You know that in this book we can work with all water-based media, like uh, ink tents, pencils, like watercolors, so I wanted to use it. And you know that I prefer to mask all hidden objects, also, I am not a huge fan of all those spheres additionally uh, uh, added by Fabiana to many pages. I would prefer not to have these strange things. At least I don't know what they represent. For example, here or um, here on this beautiful page with windmills and tulips. I also don't like these spheres. So I have a lot a lot of things to cover on my page and I can't work with watercolors. I need something more opaque. When you select to do dark background like I did on my previous page here, it was possible to work with watercolors because dark colors they are able to cover hidden objects. But when you work with uh, light colors, you need something more opaque. Unfortunately, I don't have my set of gouache paints where I have beautiful light colors, which would be perfect for the background I want to do on my uh, Sakura and Uguisu page. But I have only set of watercolors and I have only white gouache. But I decided to be creative. Here in this set I have regular watercolors, which are traditionally transparent, but recently many manufacturers started to do also more opaque, closer to the gouache paints. You can see this uh, row of paints, all of them, apart from this one, uh, they have a white pigment and they create milky or chalky effect on the page. They mostly have pastel colors, exactly what I need, and they are semi-opaque. I decided that if I blend them even more with my white gouache, the only one I have, I can get something closer to gouache and I will be able to cover all those hidden objects. I have this beautiful mint paint, which I absolutely love, but I don't know where to use actually such a color. I didn't have many opportunities and I decided that it can be perfect for the background of my page. Color is a little bit too intense for my taste, but blended with white it will create very light pale mint, exactly what I imagine. Also I have here new watercolor paint called Marengo and it's beautiful cold grey color, also uh, semi-opaque, so I think that it also will be helpful. And couple of uh, light pink colors which I can use for sakura flowers. I do love to do watercolor underpaint frost, it makes coloring much quicker when you put frost basic layer and then with pencils you can work only for details on the color accents, on the lights and shadows. So that's my plan for doing this page.
Thank you.
Thank you.